G'day and welcome to the Infronos. I'm Execute, joined by Paul, aka the Astro Pub, and our grid. How are you guys doing today? I'm a little tired yeah, myself. I am kind of exhausted. <laughs> yes, very tired. I was up late playing uh, Jedi Survivor. <laughs> Is it good? Uh, it's very good. I enjoy it. Um, it doesn't like being streamed and played at the same time. Uh, so I cracked out the old streaming PC and um, it's made it a lot better. But I have man ordered it streamed on in front of it, So I tried streaming it on, it on my own channel that I haven't used in like a year. So I'd far less people and they're watching me, but that's fine. I still had a lot of fun playing it um, been giving a lot of flack for how bad I am and getting slaughtered. Uh, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. Um, I'd say it's got a better engine as in like um, the graphics and stuff in the first one. Um, and it's a bit more puzzle based than fighty based like the first one was. So it's a bit less dark soul and a bit more Tomb Raider in a way. Um, but the story is probably not as good. I think okay. that kind of, kind of w would be my little review of it. And I'm only, I guess I'm about 10 or 11 hours in. So I don't, and I can't really tell you how far I am. I am cause it's way bigger than the first game way bigger okay. like like one area so there's like six planets like in the first game i think it was six or seven in the first game but one area is bigger than the entire game of the first one like it, it's really wow. big yeah um and they're, they're a lot more open spaces as, as well so yeah they've, they've really gone all out really well anyway enough about so that have they start, so have they started to use large large map tech uh yeah something <laughs> the, the, the huge map pack are, are, yeah. we, are we starting to see games benefit from the research and the development that star citizen have done mm. yeah. so, down the years. a little bit so yeah anyway <laughs> um i just realized that your guys volume didn't turn down a bit so if you're too low for the recording for the first bit oh, i apologize <laughs> it's okay <laughs> um all right, so today we're going to be talking about, almost like what we did on Paul's show, uh, talking about ships coming for um, Invictus uh, when mm -hmm. I was on Paul's show last weekend. So I thought th there's one or two things that have come up since then, um, and I think we were able to deep dive a little more here because we've probably got a bit more time. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's a bit more intimate here. There's no, there's no one here in chat harassing us, Paul. That, that, that's the difference. Yes. Um, there's no, there's no one yeah. telling me, tell them, tell them to show, uh, to send me the pictures of their feet, X. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Or, 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 I, um, I, and when I ask questions in chat, they just get ignored. Like, how many yes. feet pics did you get this week, Paul? Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm not telling I, I, I've noticed Paul just ignores us now. Mm. Yes, that's what I do. All right, so the first cab off the rank today, uh, and this is probably, I'm, I'm kind of going in, in a bit of a weird order here, but I think this one's the, an interesting one because it's probably the least known of any of them, right? And all we know mm -hmm. is that there is a Aegis ship in the halls that is missing, so therefore is most likely a ship that will be Aegis. Um, of the other ships, we kind of know the rough size of the others, um, mm -hmm. bar one. So I guess this or the other one are the big one. Um, but I, I don't know. I tend to lean to think that this is the bigger one, um, based on some of the other ones, but I don't know. You guys tell me what, if you had to guess, and it is an utter guess, because we don't know anything, what do you think that mm -hmm. this could be, especially if it's a bigger ship, Paul? And when I say bigger, I'm thinking medium to large. I, I don't think we'll get a capital, but I don't know. You tell me. I still think it's going to be, uh, it could be the, uh, the vaunted uh, Wildcat. Mm -hmm. CIG loves their historical based uh, fighters. And uh, for those of you who don't know, the Wildcat was uh, supposed to be a rugged frontier fighter, a multi purpose, multi role fighter. So it's basically uh, the Cutlass. In fact, that was what the Wildcat was built to do. It was built to compete with the Cutlass because the Cutlass itself was made for that competition of the Wildcat 1. So okay. the idea of a um of a wildcat or of a uh um a a cutlass version of the uh or a aged version of the cutlass is a great idea i think personally what come what comes so, to mind there uh, is it is it like armored or like or is it just light and nimble because uh, it because you said yeah, rugged would, that was where my brain went when you said rugged i just went like yeah. this little armored thing uh could be I, I would say something like the vanguard but with less um Less with less like bells and less spiddly in weapons, yeah. Less weapons and more more focus on things like 
uh, maybe a little bit of cargo, that kind of okay. thing. Mm. Yeah. I could see it for having a focus on life support and, mm -hmm. and um, you know, uh, range, escape pods, and greater range. Yeah. And, a bit of redundancy, um, too. A mm -hmm. bit more I redundancy see. because mm -hmm. you know that's that's one of the things that makes the the, the Vanguard such a such an awesome fighter. I know we don't think of it as an awesome fighter, yeah. and it's got lots of problems, but that redundancy upon redundancy upon redundancy, mm. when you go into those far-flung systems, that redundancy suddenly suddenly becomes really good because you don't have to have all power. You know, you can turn that one off so you're not using it. And then, yeah, so. So so what are you kind of thinking with your Wildcat theory, Paul? Are you kind of thinking something that's similar in size to Cutlass, so kind of like a medium range yeah. trip? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, that, because it's, it's also it's a it's a I would say that that's a uh, uh, a category we don't really have right now. We do not have many cutlass competitors. It's the freelancer and the cutlass. And that's it, and the, and the spirit. Yep, that's so yeah. three. But it's definitely like the vanguard is definitely there. But it's fighter, you know. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely a lot room for more, and it's a great great place to to have a ship because it's hmm. it's that medium range doesn't have medium yep. size doesn't have a yep. lot. And there's not a lot of multi role in that that size, anyways, or multi role in general. So yeah. perfect it, for new players, and such. It's kind of what you've all, we've always said, or what you've always said, X, is that you know you go your big ship, your little ship, and then you go your sweet spot. And the medium ships, you know, we we do have a plethora of, of those one man fighters or the two man fighters. Mm. Um, so it's we don't really we don't really need more. We'll probably get more. Um, but it's and then we've got a good selection of large ships, but it's that. That, that transition ship between solo and group play that's mm. there is a dearth of them like like paul said there's the the cutlass mm. the freelancer so and then you and then you start to go and so so being invictus um are you expecting variants because usually we have a combat variant and then a few other skews sometimes so are you, are you expect any variants there, Paul, with the Wildcat? Have you guys heard anything of that like that in the lore or? Uh, but possibly. I mean, you could definitely do a variant on that, I think. Mm -hmm. But it's not necessarily necessarily. Uh, Is there anything that uh, gives you the shape of it then or anything like that? Or like anything that you guys heard in the past, like any variants that carry cargo or anything crazy like that or not? No, nothing like that. It's it's such a it's it's like an it's a one off reference. And if it was the Wildcat, it may not even be called the Wildcat. Mm. It may be called the Bear Cat. It may be called the Kitty the, Claw. Uh, the the yeah. whatever. Yeah, <laughs> like oh. it, 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 the Tiger well, Claw. That would be a really good one to call it. Yeah, the yes. Tiger oh, Claw. But, and they do like using that reusing the names. But mm. when you when you think of the Vanguard, the Vanguard's original name was the Bulldog. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, and it got changed. So did they, you know, they changed, they've, it's almost as if they've also changed their naming convention as well. So mm. uh, for some ships, rather than using animal or critters, they've gone to other things. So are you typing, Paul, or clicking your mouse? I swear I can hear it. Yes. Yeah, it's very loud. I'll stop it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, like someone's got some extra sound on today. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, well, normally I can't hear you doing it, but there's obviously some kind of mic issue. You're, well, something you've changed, but anyway. All yeah. right. Um, We'll move on to the next one, um, and that is the Tumbrel Storm. Now, I have a theory on what this is, and I'll, I'll share mine, and then you guys feel free to destroy it. Uh, but there's also a line of code that talks a, about a storm burst bomb. Um, and the reason I think storm and storm, so I think the bomb goes with it. So, um, and a storm and raining of uh, bullets and stuff like that, or, or hail of bullets and stuff like that, I think this might be an artillery style truck. Um, I don't know whether that's a half track or whether the bombs burst into cluster bombs or anything like that. I just have the sneaking suspicion it might be some form of artillery truck. Um, feel free to destroy me now. Go for it. <laughs> uh, I will just say that the Stormburst bomb, the, my only argument against the Stormburst bomb is being part of the storm, is that CIG themselves are uh, bad at naming their ships and naming things in general. So the Stormburst Bomb could just be a name they used, and it just happens to coincide with the storm uh, being released. So it's just, it's hard mm. to to really judge on that. Mm. So 
Yeah, it does um, show it as a size five as well. So that is similar yes. in size to the Gladiator torpedoes. If if you're talking about explosive yield, so it it does yes. hint to be fairly small, so to speak, right? It, you know, I, I mm. assume it's the type of bomb it would take out, like a ballista or or a, or a Ursa or something like that. You know, so it's it's not too big. Um, but I think people have been asking for that for a while, and I think like how much would it change certain um, missions? Um, I can see it being really good for something like theaters of war, you know, like putting stuff on the objective would be a nightmare. Um, mm -hmm. as in, as in like trying to hold it while someone's raining it on you it could be really interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't know. Well, okay. Well then that's my theory. Agrid, give me your theory. Right. If you've got one. I hadn't really thought about the tumbrel storm at all. Um, but, I do like the idea of it being an artillery piece. It is vehicle because it's tumbrel. Mm. Um, an artillery piece is kind of a, a tanky type thing, so it's kind of a next step down or the next step up, to, depending on how you want to look at it. Mm. Um, but I remember when the tank came out, people were asking for an artillery. And I can, and my memory says, it, so I said, oh, yeah, we could look at that down the track, and maybe they are. Mm. Um, it yeah. could be another. It could be a another form of tank um, yeah. that fires that size nine torpedo -y type thing. So a direct fire weapon. But then, you know, if you look at World War Two, you had artillery pieces or anti aircraft pieces that were being used as mm. direct fire, and you had artillery that could be used as direct fire. So why not? Mm. Um, and I and I like the idea of that dropping dropping a bomb on, on a target, what you know, like uh, mm. Jump Town. Uh, it just opens up. You don't need to have your, your ship coming in to do a bombing run. You could have your vehicle coming in to do a bombing run. Mm. And so it just opens it opens up that, that theatre of war, I suppose, or the theatre of conflict. Mm. So, um, and, um, and, it add, and it would add fuel to theatres of war coming by the end of the year, Paul. Yes. Uh, don't get me wrong. I am I am a, a zealot when it comes to having artillery in Star Citizen. I think it's a good idea in general. Uh, but I don't think that that necessarily means it is. It could be. It, it could be great. Um, I, 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 my theory more li long, lies along the lines of a light tank, you know, basically a, uh, a like an infantry fighting vehicle mm. similar to the BMP or the uh, Striker or the the uh the why am i blanking on the name of it the bradley yeah. uh th these are all like you know like a small cannon with the spoke cannon not designed for like art attack tacking like novas but like size three or size four bespoke cannon mm -hmm. and then enough space for like five or six people to but kind of transport that, isn't that the ursa that's just an it is but 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 not but also armored mm -hmm. uh, ursa with a bigger gun but armored like an apc yeah. basically like yeah. an armored APC. Yeah. You, yeah. Know, you know when you were, you know when you were saying what you were saying there when you said it was a tank. I actually went. It could be in like an artillery tent too. It doesn't have to be mm -hmm. like a like when I say oh no vehicle. It could a, be a self propelled vehicle. gun. Yeah. I would yeah. I would love to see a self propelled mm -hmm. gun, but I don't think it's going to be the case. I I I I, you know, I want to believe. This is what I'm going to say. <laughs> I, so I, I want would, to believe, but I don't think it necessarily will. I would hope. I would hope it's not an APC because we've already got the Spartan. Yeah, we've true. already got the we've all, and we've already got the Ursa, so we've got a light armored per, armored personnel mm. carrier or a light you know carrier, and we've got the, the heavy personnel carrier. Mm. Um, what was that? So um, yes, it could be a medium one, but what was that in the um that you were saying before? Um, was it in the monthly report or something like that? That was a um a suspension slash um engine based vehicle. Could that be? It, yeah, it, in a way. It could, it could be because it, it, it says something about suspension being added and also something else like a, uh, uh, some kind of, uh, it was like, like some sort of engine based something or other. I can't I have to look it up, but it was such a weird, it made me go, what? Mm. Like that makes no sense. Why are those two things together? Like you wouldn't have a suspension with something that's a ship and you wouldn't have mm. the things like flight characteristics with something that has suspension just, just those things don't work together yeah so, so. yeah you know, so it sounds like one of these could be it and it um it, it could be weird because like, there's one other one that i want to uh, uh talk when we talk about that next that um but i think that what that's if you needed the uh 
What if you needed the flight characteristics <clears throat> or the, the suspension to counteract the impact of the artillery piece firing or the gun firing? That's true. Mm. We're going, we're going, we're going just, full, full I'm in. Just putting, yeah, yeah. I'm just putting more, more, um, yeah. more, um, more speculation. More fuel uh, to the yeah. fire. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so Add that, a little bit more salt for the fire, yeah. Yeah, so I, I think that's probably the most likely vehicle candidate. Um but the other thing I want to point out too is the one that I didn't add on this list too. So we can probably talk about that next while we're doing vehicles, and that's the Lynx Rover. Yeah. Um the Lynx Rover is in the code now as well. Um and oh no, um Agrid, I, I, you and I talked a bit about this yesterday. So um, you know, the the default variant is is very high end from the pictures we've seen on ISD. Mm. Um, but that then leads me to go, well, that's not military based. So it's either being completely skipped for this sale and we probably won't see it to Invictus or some other event or Citizen Con. Um, but if it was coming now, I'm assuming like me, you're, you, you're speculating on a variant as well, if it was to come. Yeah. And I could say, if you're looking military, two variants. One, I'd see a medical variant. So a hospital ambulance that would work with, you know, and that would work with the, the galaxy coming down the track. Um, the other one I could see is a command and control vehicle, like the old um, mm. World War Two, you know, commanders, the commander's trucks. Um, mm. um, and they were just basically trucks that were kitted out with a desk and, you know, and, and dip map, map areas and other stuff. And that would be a very a fairly easy conversion from a luxury limo. So that could be something they do. But if I if I had to put an, a real guess onto a, a variant, it would probably be the ambulance. And then, I'd you know, that would give you the rounds to sell both of them at the same time. Mm. So. so, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Paul, what about you? Do, you? do you do you think the Lynx is more likely to come at Invictus or AIE? And do you expect any variants? I'll ask you the same question, essentially. I think it's still coming in and Victus, but I think it's just because it's done. I don't think it has I don't think it has anything to do with like it being um it being a military. I think it'll just be sold at 319 and 319 will come out right before Invictus is that's all it is. Yeah, that's an so, option too. Um, um just because they seem to still be confirmed for 319 last I heard. So I do want to put out though that the SRV was finished at the end of the last year and that's not coming in Invictus. So there are well, other ones that have finished too and they've been pushed back. So yeah. The difference is that the SRV also relies on technology, which is not implemented in game yet. That's that's the difference. Like the, the Lynx is no reason not to be there. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the X1 CIG. Where's my X1 CIG? They're doing it. I may or may not. Doing it as they've got time. It, it's it's one of those, yeah. you know, not required vehicles that they're just doing as they need. Where's my X1? Mm. Where is it? Paul, Paul, you've got your favorite ship. I hate that ship. Yeah, I you've got your favorite ship. Even... It's still, look, don't They've complain. given you your yeah. favorite chip, so yeah. Mm, no. Yeah. Yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. All right. Uh, You're only lying to yourself. Mm. You're only lying to yourself. I'm going to flip us over to the browser real quick. Um, and this one's going to stuff up one of the cameras because I'm pretty sure I've got one. Hey, I didn't have, I did have them all turned on. Look Yay. at that. And I, it's like I rehearsed it and I didn't. I'll, I'll just be by head second. So yeah. So, <laughs> so, so, um, yeah. in the code last week, they, they were talking about a mirror or a Murai, um, and then this came out in the jump point this week, and it's a Murai, um, and I looked it up, and I, God, I hope I put it on the second page. I did, and it's Japanese, and it means future, uh, which also goes with a line here that says the future of performance, mm. um, and be behind our grid, you don't have to move our grid, it says the unfair advantage, oh, okay, the unfair advantage oh, arrives oh, okay. May 19, 2053. Now, that made all of us think, well, correct me if you, you guys can correct me if, if I'm putting words in your mouth, but it made us all think of potentially a racing chip. Yes. Um, it's also got the uh, MISC logo with Asian writing across the top. And in the background, you can see that's kind of like the two commas. I don't know what else to call that logo, but yeah. <laughs> yep. It's um, the MISC logo, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then I said, I don't know if I said this to you, Paul, or Algrid, I know I said to one of you earlier, um, It that big ring there almost looks like a tank hatch yep. mm -hmm. and then our minds just started going oh shush, i just had a remote in my hand and I threw it across the room <laughs> um went every which way and we're like oh what if it's a hover tank what if it, you know we 
so 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 that, now that, we're that speculation juice has started flowing didn't they yeah so so mm -hmm. so now i'm wondering could this be a vehicle or a ship or whatever so <coughs> it's 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 really yeah, it's hard put a spanner in the works for my thinking process i think that the, i think because the uh mirai is supposed to be a variant of the fury mm. right um of some kind of shape or form, or it could be the new name for the Fury is yeah. the Mirai. I never, I never even thought about that. It could just be the name that they, they, because well, the CIG keeps old name in the code all the time. The thing is, so, though, the Mirai, um, if the Mirai is the racing variant and the Fury is mm -hmm. the primary variant, that makes more sense because they generally they'll have a military variant for Invictus and then potential spin offs. And I think that's what we're seeing mm -hmm. here. Um, and my brain kind of went to, can you have a tank that's also some kind of racing vehicle? And then I was like, eh, I don't know. You know, but I, I could definitely see a ship that's a combat. But ooh, look at the Razor. You've got the, you know, a, a military variant <coughs> and a racing variant. But this is the yeah. other part me and Agra came back to is the ra Razor is a thing. You know, like, uh, yeah. why would Misk have two racing ships? And it's a bit strange in that regard. And that's why I was starting to lean towards. A vehicle or a tank or something so yeah i i could see this being very much like the m50 the m50 is sold as a racing ship but it was its specific design was as an advocacy interceptor mm -hmm. and this could be a misc interceptor that's why it's got mm -hmm. the um, future performance it's it's basically a, a racing ship but it's made for that unfair mm -hmm. advantage Yep. Uh, is because it gives them that ability to intercept and you know pushing into that mm. pushing into that market, and I could I could see them doing that. Yep. And when you brought um, that up before, I I very quickly agreed with you, and I still do agree with you. Uh, and that and that does tie it very tightly into mm. a military aspect of of a ship as well. Mm. So, um, yeah. I could see that. Um, this in weird... terms of the mm, sorry, I was going to say in terms of the fury thing, the thing that gets me is that. That's the main name they're given. So that I, I tend to lean with what mm. Paul was speculating that it, it might be the, the actual real, the actual, the name rather than the variant of a Fury. And the Fury is just the, you know, they've done a name change. And there's two lines of code. One says Fury, the other says Mirror. Um, right. So they've got lines of codes that show both. But I keep, keep thinking it could be a tank based on the movie Fury. And Paul just said mm. himself, they're really shit at naming. You know, that makes That's a lot true. of sense. That um, is true. <laughs> I'm not going to deny that. But, but a mist tank, I just... Uh, but yeah. but Zion and Hover, weird. a Hover tank, like yeah. maybe, I don't know. There's just this weird thing here between me and Algrid. Like, see mm. that that kind of metal -y arm yeah. thing? Like, when I first saw that, I thought, yeah. is that spider yeah. legs? Yeah. Is it like a spider tank? Like, I went through all this weird stuff. So, like, yeah, I honestly don't... You know, I honestly, we don't have any insight into what this is but that's why we're doing this just for a bit of fun you know get the juices throwing and obviously we want to hear from you guys in the comments below what you think they could be as well but try and use the evidence that's there things like mirror means future mm -hmm. things like that so it's obviously future means you know new or you know uh, uh, or performance obviously performance is such a word that's iconically linked with racing i just Yes. I, I just can't. Like, and as Algrid said, though, the default Fury could be an interceptor and the mirror is the racing variant. So I, I can totally see that. I, I think the original I'd, Fury is something and the mirror is obviously the variant. I don't, even that second line, the one that's behind my head, the unfair yeah. advantage, that, that screams racing as well. It's, mm. it, it does. Both of those terms kind of have that, uh, that, mm. that feel about them. And, um, that could be, um, you know, we could be totally off our rockers though, but mm. that's, that's where our, our collective mind have kind of. Don't know, don't know about I, Paul, but I'm pretty sure our grid is off his rocker, but yeah. I think um. all of our, all of our, all of us are off our rockers. I think, and to be honest. I'll just get, no, I'm still on my rocker. I'm still mm. on my rocker. I'm still. <laughs> all right. We'll move on to the, to getting into the last two now. All right. So the next one is that it's like my real name, Julian, but you replace it with an S and it's Sulian. Um, Sulian. And uh, basically translated like the Raelian. Um, so you take the first three letters, Sul. Um, it, uh, the Raelian means carry and Len means without issue. So this means fly without issue. Um, 
and for a long time i was thinking um it's probably a racing ship as well um mm-hmm. but but um well average you, you can't because it's made by like attack that's the other thing they've got in the code is it's made by like attack Algrid had a really good idea, so I'll start with Algrid's idea. So, Algrid, you, you tell us what you thought of. Well, Gitak is the Xi'an company that does industry. So it's kind of, you know, the MISC, the MISC version of, I suppose, Xi'an stuff. Mm. And the one that came to me is, you can't fly without issue if you don't have fuel. So it's a fuel truck. Mm. It's a fuel ship, or a fuel gathering ship, or processing ship. So that, that was my thoughts. And that worked really well for... Um... Uh, pyro coming up you know you don't n- not like a refinery slash fuel ship like um this this the star affair it would be more of mm. a, just a fuel transport ship so almost like liquid yep. transport specialist um and and if it's if it's not using drones it kind of fits in the middle of the vulcan and the star Fairer because the star has got it, the it'd work really well with the vulcan wouldn't it because it could take fuel out to the vulcan instead of the vulcan having to come back to get it yep i only say so, that so yeah um but i i i picture it as in it's still kind of be like an advanced starter but because it's cargo it might be a bit bigger um but yeah that could be really really interesting um and and i think all three of us kind of struggled with what it could be because it's gatak and gatak really i don't know it kind of really limits it to just industry doesn't it you know so like it would make sense for them to have a racing ship as an example um mm. but I, yeah i just keep coming back to what our said to fly without issue and then i started thinking of like rsat roadside assist type stuff and and i went yeah to fly with it you know to drive without issue um that, that's kind of where my brain went um I, I'll, I'll chuck that back because i know paul said this before then paul would a repair ship fall under attack yes 100 percent uh, but it would only fall under attack if it was an industrial sort of repair ship. It wouldn't matter if it was uh, uh, if it was like something like a uh, like a like a, like an average repair ship. Actually, you know, it's hard to tell because mm-hmm. we know that industrial stuff is Gatak, mm-hmm. but we don't know what industry means to the Gion. Yeah. So like like repair could be, mm-hmm. refining could be, mining could be, all those could be their own mm-hmm. industries as well. We know all we know is that that transport is industry mm-hmm. for them. So if transport's mm-hmm. industry, yeah. then you know. Now I know you've said in the past that you think there's possibly a ship below the Vulcan. Can you see this ship yeah, being below ship. and above? Like like what what mm-hmm. where, well no I'm just starting, well I'm just like devil's advocate if it was yeah, a, if, if it was potentially a repair refuel ship type of thing. Either one. Yeah. Where do you think it was more likely to sit? Knowing the Raelians kind of in that corny area, I don't know. I feel that it'd have to be kind of either equal with the Vulcan or below Vulcan. Uh, oh yeah. What did I say, Vulcan? Oh, I did say Vulcan, didn't I? Yeah, well, Vulcan or below. Yep. Yeah. So, so I think it's either a smaller ship. I don't know. My brain goes to smaller. Um, but you, yeah. you tell me what you think, yeah. Paul, and then I'll ask Eric. I could see. Same. See about about the same size as the Vulcan would be my guess, but maybe not as as you know roadside assistance as uh, as the Vulcan is. Mm. If that makes sense. So the Vulcan's got more more op- opportunity, more more tools that it can do because it, mm. it's using its drones. It can do repair of fuel rear. Mm. This would be probably just a refuel ship. Yeah, probably just mm. a what, what just a boom arm, and that's it. You know, so like you know, like two tanks and an engine and a cab and maybe a bed and, and, and a then, table, and then, like yeah. food prep area, yeah. and that's it. So, so think like the prospector, but you you rip off the uh, the saddlebags and put two big engine things on it, type of thing, and that's it. You know, there's not much else to yeah. it. And yeah. The other thing that gets me thinking that it could be a fuel tank. I thought I was in game last night and. At one of the at one of the stations, and what can you buy at one of the stations? You can buy the fuel tanks. So you could already buy the round fuel tanks if it's if it's using the round fuel tanks as well. That's not a bad idea, I got it. Didn't you, think you, of that. You, yeah. you, you don't, you know, if there's another aspect they don't have to mm. redesign. It's, yep, tack that on back. And so, and that would be really cool because we do know that Misk and um, the Zion have worked together in the past. What if they have a shared? I don't know. That's a kind of a cool. Concept and we've also me. got and we've also got the fuel nozzle extra fuel nozzles we can buy so 
uh, it just it would add to the use of those those mm. assets that they've already got. And we know that CIG likes to reuse assets and have them do multiple things rather than just be for one. So um, yeah, mm -hmm. um, the one thing I it's not saying it is, but the, the one thing that I'd put out there though that I'm um, and I did say this on your show last week, Paul, is it doesn't have to be military because Alien Week is separate from um, Invictus. So um, yes. that said, though, I can see it working really well for Pyro, and I could technically see a military version. Well, not really, because they wouldn't want the Zion to make military, would they? Because they're like, it's like like in the real world, if, um, you know, Russia made a, something and then tried to sell it to the United States, they'll, they'd have concerns, you know, or China, you know, yeah. what I mean? or vice versa going either way. Um, so, yeah, I... That, that's i don't think the military would let uh the zion make um something i don't know i don't know you guys tell me if you think different although, i agree although 100%. we do have Lalani addison as our imperator at the moment and she is a a genophile yes she is so I, I, she could she could have decided yes we're going to get this ship and it's going to serve this role in the military because we're short of that mm -hmm. i would hate that to be the case but it's a possibility mm. because she is such a Xenophile. Mm -hmm. So I know that's throwing a, a cat into the cat among I don't, and you can shoot me down, but I, I don't think so. And I, I don't think she, she like, she is a Xenophile, but I don't think it's, she's that much of a Xenophile. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think the military would let her do that. It, it, it's yeah. And, it's and, and I don't think she's actually got support in the, in the Senate either. So that, no, for that matter. not for that. Because she's an independent and doesn't have support. So all of her grand ideas are peeing into the wind and everyone who voted for her expecting her to make all these grand changes. All right. Uh, Paul, what would you like to hear from people in the comments below? I would like to hear people talk about what they are, what they think are obviously any of these, these ships, uh, as well as what they think we might see in the next major round of concept ships in I, I, ILW. Mm -hmm. So do you think that this is a, because these, these are all military, a lot of these are military or other, mm -hmm. other concepts. Do we think we're going to, what are we going to see in the, in the future? Because, you know, going down the line, we're looking at, mm -hmm. um, you know, 320, 40, um, Pyro. Is CIG going to do anything crazy for that? So, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I, I reckon things like the X1 and the Lynx um, and the SRV, I think they're all Invictus personally. Um, and, and you got to remember Citizen Cons there as well. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think we might see one or two of those um, towards the end of the year. But uh, for me, I'd just like to know what you guys think. Um, there are some little hints to a few little things there. I always look at their names, and I know Paul kind of goes, "That's crazy," because they've got two things called the Legionnaire. You know, so he's yeah. right. They do. They they have some pretty terrible names. Um, but, you know, there's little hints there, like with a storm, we've got the little storm bo mm. burst bomb. Um, I, and, and again, you can see something in it. And, and sometimes, it, Paul's right, it means absolutely nothing. And there are other times where it has been very close to what it means. So, yeah. and I like to think that the writers named it. And so, therefore, it's a little bit <laughs> named yeah. correctly. But that's not always the case. So, yeah. So, so sometimes we, you can be on the mark and sometimes you can be completely off. So, yeah, let us know about things like that. So, the Storm, the Fury, the Mirai, the Saulian, the Aegis one, I think, Anyone that's having a go at that is completely taking a step in the dark, uh, like like we yes. did. So yeah, because uh, yeah. there's nothing uh, that points to that at all. All right. So agreed. Any mo taking this? Yep. What would you like to hear from people well, in the comments below? Yeah, pretty much the same. What What do you think of those those ships will be? Do you think the the, the tumbrel will be an artillery piece? If it's not an artillery piece, mm. what type of vehicle is mm. it? Do you think it'll be an APC? Mm. Even though we've got, um, you know, the the Ursa and the the Spartan. And if it's not over those, what on earth is it? Yeah. Um, and Fury and Muro, are they are they both there? Mm. Are, are they military? Are they not? Mm. Um, how do you tie them in? And well, the Sulian, always nice to have an alien ship. Mm. Uh, Paul, so, Agrid has not found out about the old man Hurston variants of the Lynx yet. Uh, how, could he, so, how could he not? Have I heard don't about know. At this point. But in the comments below, guys, you got to let him know what it is. He has Tell no idea what it is at all. Give him the details, guys. Uh, he doesn't crazy. know about the old man Hurston variant of nope. links. Nope, he doesn't. He hasn't figured it out. All right, with uh, that, don't forget to like, based subscribe. On you, based on what you guys say, based on what you guys say, it's.
got lots of cat girls in it. Yeah, probably. What you There's like. cats involved, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Uh, thanks for going extra mile on Patreon if you want to do that. Um, bits, bobs, all that type of stuff. All right, with that, uh, he's been Astro. Actually, yeah, Paul, where do you, uh, where can people find you on the interwebs? Real quick. Before Other you... than here at the, at the Info Runners, which make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when it comes out. Mm. Um, you can find me at twitch.tv slash the Astro Pub, youtube.com slash the Astro Pub Live, or if you like my lore stuff, youtube.com slash the Astro Historian. Yep. Um, I'll be streaming a bit more Jedi Survivor during the week. I'm just going to be doing it randomly. Uh, I'll be on Execute AUS and maybe Info Runners. But both of them will be on Twitch, so no YouTube stuff. Anyway, all right, other than that, he's been Paul or the Astro Pub. He's been Old Man Hurston. I mean, Algrid. And I've been next. Catch the next one. I'm already here.